thank you. I think our school is ready and waiting to perform, so let's get on with the show. Our performance tonight is Cycle of the Sun. All societies function by suppressing human evil and chaos beneath the heavy weight of social ritual. The Aztecs celebrated each new century. It was a time when society unleashed the forces of evil in order to reassert its mastery over them. Please welcome Eleonora State High School.
Let's hear it for Eleanora State High School. We've even got the big Eleanora State High School signs down here. Did you enjoy that, guys? Of course you did. Okay, now a quick mention that this year's uh, national, this year the National Photo Training College is offering students out of the 100% in control Triple M Rocket Stepford Challenge to uh, take part in the National Photographic Competition. Now all photos are in keeping with the theme of being 100% in control and a healthy lifestyle. And if you have not already entered the photos, please speak with your liaison officer or liaison teacher for further details. Now the national winner in this competition will receive a full $11,600 scholarship and the two runners up $2,500 scholarship to the Photo Visual Imaging Advanced Certificate in Professional Photography at the National Photo Training College. Let's meet our student representatives on to stage. But before we do that, I'd just like to say happy birthday to Russell Stevens. Thank you. We have Nicola, Diana, Matthew and Melissa. As we pass it over to the judges, uh, firstly Amanda. Well, Eleonora, you were on fire. It was fantastic. Um, the pan pipe contrasted with the techno, I loved it. Um, great use of colour, the red and black scene especially, that was just great. Um, the clever lighting created all the moods that you wanted um, and the set, the set, very versatile, amazing, great ending, fantastic. And Gail. Yes, thank you, Eleonora. I was captivated from the opening moment where it was haunting with the use of the South American musical icon of the pan flutes, and I love the return to that and the whole cyclic uh, thing happening up there. Um, I love the dramatic sacrifice. I was really um, sucked in there. It was quite scary. Uh, the devil worshipping, I thought, was uh, very well designed choreographically. Lots of mayhem, lots of things going on, but everything was very clear. Uh, I particularly liked the use of backlighting, very effective, and the whole piece was beautifully designed. Well done. Thanks, Gail and David. The hard thing about coming, being third, is that everyone steals your thunder before you arrive. Uh, yes, I thought it was very slick uh, production, uh, very high production values. Um, I, I like the whole cyclic nature of the work. Um, you achieve what you set out to to do, and that was tell this uh, story, which which um, which was a, a a cycle, and and so it showed that chaos and calm coexist as a natural part of life rather than something that needs to be suppressed always um, uh, that they can coexist um, so I thought that worked very well I like the imagery of the Aztec clock moving through the whole thing I also enjoyed the lighting a lot the the sim more simple use of orange and white as a very clear um, uh, image of uh, sunshine uh, and warmth fabulous Thanks, David, and once again, thanks to the judges. Now, Nicola, where's Nicola? Yeah. Over there. How long uh, have you been involved in the Rocker Stedford Challenge? Um, well, as a team, we've been working with our production for over six months now. It took us the longest to work on the theme, which is the continuous battle of good over evil, um, which is represented in our production in the Aztec theme. We um, had to research the Aztec, Aztec era in their rituals, customs, and it took us quite a long time. 
So how did you go about actually researching the Aztec? Uh, we had to look, uh, we went to um, as to Mexican restaurant to <laughs> see. See, that would have been really hard to cope with. <laughs> Next time you do that, please give us a call. I'll come along and help you out there. <laughs> and what, so you went to a Mexican restaurant and what else did you get up to? And we also looked up in encyclopedias and stuff like that. And a great job too. Aztec theme, very original. Who came up with the concept of using the Aztec theme? That was an interesting answer. Actually, um, it's a geography teacher of ours called Mr. Leader who also um, designed <laughs> who also designed our set, and um, he did an excellent job of that. And he just absolutely loves history, and so he chose the Aztec theme. And a great set as well. I love the the, uh, the sundial. I thought that was really cool. And a uh, uh, Melissa, which one? Melissa up the end there. How did your community get involved in your uh, performance? Um, well, Eleanor usually involves the community in basically everything we do. Um, we had a lot of sponsors this, this year. I can't name them all, but our three main sponsors, the Pine Shopping Centre, Oz Post and um, Themeworks, who didn't just donate good, um, money, they also donated goods, which helped our Rocker Stepford come together. Excellent. A big round of applause. A big thank you to the sponsors that helped them again. And Matthew. How are you doing there? Good. <laughs> now, have you been in a Rockers Tedford before? Yeah, I competed last year, and this year I've had a great time. So what year are you in at school? Ten. So you've still got a couple of years to go yet? Yep. <laughs> and uh, no doubt you'll be in the Rockers Tedford next year and the following year as well. And do you like wearing the cape? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> would, you, uh, would you fancy going back in time and, uh, and being an Aztec? It did help me understand the theme a bit more. But <laughs> See, wouldn't it be great if you could just get a time machine and just hop in there and go 